everyone. Welcome to You Know That Scene, an exciting original series celebrating iconic scenes in seminal cinema. These scenes are a jumping off point for a lively and inspired discussion among our esteemed group, a group of makers, authors, critics, and influencers who share one thing in common, a love of film. This week's theme, legacy films from the Focus Features Library. Bold and daring films that are marked by an epic scope, superb performances, intricate plotting, and in some cases, plot twists that really make you change the way you see these movies. Let's look at one of my favorites, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, directed by Michel Gondry. Who boy is this an original screenplay in the film? Joel and Clementine are lovers, doesn't really work out, so they go through a radical procedure to erase each other from the other person's memory. We've all been there, where we've suffered heartbreak and thought, ugh, I just wish I could erase the whole thing. You know that scene where he has a gift for Clementine, but she doesn't remember it. Can I help you find something? Hey, we made up. Patrick, baby boy. But what happens in that scene is the way it's shot, he's leaving the bookstore and all the lights go out behind him. And it's heartbreaking. And that dramatic, adventurous use of visuals, it was such a big way to tell a story. That the fact that this film not only went there, but went there so successfully was awesome. The brilliance of this movie is that despite being so imaginative, you talk about the structure of the movie. They meet cute on the train. My name is Clementine, by the way. I'm Joel. Hi, Joel. As the movie is progressing, you realize that's not the beginning of the story. It's like memento for love stories. Yeah. That's a because, great right? Yeah. Because it keeps going forward, it keeps going back. You're like, wait a second, what's happening? And you're trying to piece it together. And you go back and you watch it again and again and again, and it gets better and better and better. It's one of the very best movies of the 21st century. Next movie is Atonement from 2007. The movie is directed by Joe Wright. It was nominated for seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture. The movie is about a posh British family on the eve of World War II, and they are rocked by a lie told by a young girl. The scene that really sort of made this film for me, it's very early on, and you have Sir Sharonin playing Briny, and she sees the events of what's happening with Kira Knightley and James McAvoy at the fountain one way. Kira Knightley's account of that exact same event is seen another way. Careful! This whole movie is built on how one scene can be totally twisted through somebody else's emotions. It sets into motion a chain of events that's really tragic. Another thing I love about this film are the gorgeous visuals, and I feel like that is embodied to the fullest when we get to Dunkirk. It is one of the best tracking shots in cinema history that really gives into the desperation that the soldiers were facing. Here's James McAvoy's character who is basically in this situation because of a lie that was told by a young girl who had a crush on him. Atonement is a heartbreaking film because of opportunities lost. All right, here is a true legacy film, another one of my all-time favorites, Lost in Translation. The brilliance of the film is how it makes you feel isolation. When sometimes you step off a plane into a new culture, you feel that moment of otherness. You know that scene where he is shooting the commercial? <laughs> It's so funny watching that scene for someone who always has to translate for my mom. She's like, this is a whole paragraph that I'm reading here. Are you sure they're not saying anymore? I'm like, mom, all you need to know is it needs to be in the water for five minutes. You have this guy, Bob, who is not happy at work, he's not happy at home, he is burned out and he's disillusioned, and he bonds with Scarlett Johansson. She too is alone. How long have you been married? No, oh, thank you. Mm. Two years? 25 long ones. Mm -hmm. I love how she plays with real life time. She is not afraid to have silence fuel her story. Yeah, you felt the awkwardness between them. You can kind of see them internalizing, what do I say next? Because I don't know what I have in common with the stranger next to me. Having that meeting be the beginning of it, and then the end of it, which is probably the most dissected moment in cinema that we will have. Okay. 
whatever you envision in your mind to be what he said played out upon Scarlett Johansson's face. This is a film that will mean different things to different people at different stages of their lives. It certainly did to me, and it is a true legacy film. And that brings us to what is sure to be a legacy film for Focus Features. Everybody knows, written and directed by Asghar Farhadi. And in the film, Penelope Cruz returns to her hometown outside Madrid. Her daughter is kidnapped. Family secrets are uncovered, which rock their foundation. I see movies for a living, and I saw this film in a screening with people who see movies for a living. And there were audible gasps yes. at certain points because not everybody knew. I <laughs> did not know. And this movie had me on the edge of my seat. Let's just talk about how this movie started. They were having the wedding, and it's a big, bright party. Everybody's having a good time before it takes a very dark turn. This was shot really raw, and the director didn't use any scores or a soundtrack within the movie. And I, it really pulled me into the story, and I was just engrossed in what was going to happen. This film so expertly builds that tension, and you know that scene where Lara is in the car, and they're out looking for Irene. She asks everyone, what happened to that girl in the newspaper clippings? La mataron. La mataron. Cruz lets out a raw guttural noise is just an astounding It's, it's an interesting staging because it's claustrophobic already, but the silence in that moment is so loud because you're trapped and it traps the viewer as well. And that makes it haunting. It stays with you. And all these films that we discussed not only will stand the test of time, they will improve over time, which is why they're movies truly worthy of status as a legacy film for Focus Features. I want to thank my amazing co-host for joining me today to discuss some of our favorite films from the Focus Features Library. Thank you for watching. Please like our Facebook page, and we'll see you next time on You Know That Scene.